Yes, sir, all right, baby. Hope you are doing well, man. Today is Monday, March 13th, 2023. Welcome back to another upload. It is AKA Monday. We're gonna look at the new AKA players. We're gonna roll some training. Got about a million training into this. I might do some AKA packs as well because we got an overall boost to the AKA players, man. Four of them, all 98 overalls, man. If you like the video, make sure you like the video. Comment down below as well. If you're gonna cop Mr. Saquon Barkley, you're gonna get a little bit of a Legatron going on. Don't forget to sub, man. It's free for you. It doesn't cost you a thing. The I love goal is 10,000 subs by April 5th and 20,000 by the end of the year. I hit that sub button already, man. I definitely appreciate it. Let's pull up some of these bad boys and take a look at them, right? Uh, today is Monday, so we have free agency starting today, right? I think that goes live probably about noon Eastern, if I'm not mistaken. So free agency is coming up. EA has not come out and uh, dropped the content schedule for this week. So I'm assuming we're going to see that very soon. As well as unbans are beginning to happen. Uh, now, people are getting unbanned for the whole big glitch that happened uh, over in buying co uh, overpriced cards, I should say. But their coins are not coming back yet. But I'm assuming in time, that is definitely going to happen, man. L Legatron's going for, what, 670k? This is the only LTD we do have four cards this is just the only one that we have as an ltd wise you can get a 99 overall team now with his abilities so 70 speed 77 excel he's got 97 kick power 95 at kick accuracy and 90 awareness good uh just steam team rams theme team uh, i don't know what other teams he's played for but legatron man was the staple for the the rams back in the day that guy used to boo that's why obviously his nickname is legatron casey hayward going for 900k man these things are kind of expensive but you can pull them 97 speed 96 excel 96 agility 97 jump 95 play rec 97 man 98 zone in 97 Press. DCA was going to get a couple theme teams, Chargers, Falcons, Raiders, and one more, Packers. I think he played for the Packers, right? Very good card. He is 5'11", a good stats all across the board. Uh, Raiders theme team gets an upgrade. This is a card that was pretty expensive. I think it was this year, earlier when he got an upgrade to his team of the week card because it was part of the Raiders theme team, but something very interesting. Man, there's not even that many cards on the block right now. Jack Leonard currently going for a million coins. Mr. Maniac, man, 95 speed, 92 excel, 88 strength, 95 tackle, 96 player, 98 block, 94 power, and 98 finesse move. What's good about this card, I believe, is he should get all 32 team chems because he has his Black History Month card and all those got all team chems. So this card is going to be expensive too. He's a million coins just like Saquon that we're going to look at here in a minute. He will, He's a run star for archetype as well. He is 6'2". He'll get all theme team. So if you can afford him, he'll probably be on your team. And then we have Saquon's Mr. Saquon Barkley, 98 overall, 97 speed, 97 excel, 96 agility, 95 carry, 88 catch, 94 change of direction, 96 trucking, and 98 break tackle. Let me know if you use this, if you prefer this over Quadfather. Use them to the end game if you really wanted to but i mean we're gonna have with the running backs man is such a flooded position we'll probably get some halfbacks coming out very soon but still cmc is good saquon's good man good cards i got released today man screw up some pack all right baby so we got a bunch of training uh we're gonna do some of the uh ak players and the reason why i don't want to do all of it is because they're freaking expensive right now and now he's going for about 20k so 25 in order to make profit you need to pull a 93 plus so i guess it's not terrible right if you pull a 90 yeah it's gonna tank it but if you pull a 93 94 96 97 and 98 now so there's a lot of profit and upside into these did have boosted odds i haven't really seen a lot of people talk about if they're good or not however i've heard a lot of people say some good stuff about this so maybe we'll open about a million coins worth of these ak pack and we'll do a little bit of the uh the re-rolls as well now i am truly skeptical to do this the reason why is because pro stars have been absolutely phenomenal for your boy lately and i do not like ak packs man i think they're some of the worst ones in the game personally i've always hit nothing but absolute doo-doo out of them but i will give it another try just because you know we do have 98 uh ak players in there now 90 daniel sorison and an 89 sam mills so we'll open this one more and then we'll go ahead and get started man Legatron? Nope. All right. 89. 92 Harrison Buckner. Uh, free agency is underway. We did get the release of uh, what's coming out this week for schedule wise. We're getting wild cards, of course, but we're also getting one called Game Changer. No idea what that is. And we're also getting free agency dropping probably Thursday or Friday because the free agency is going on right now, man. A lot of big things are happening already in the free agency. The Bears did sign TJ Edwards. We get a new linebacker. Round of applause for the Bears. Really, really good. And they got him for a steal because he's super, super cheap to get him. We're going to have Aaron Rodgers is more than likely going to the Jets. We have, uh, Jimmy G going over to the Raiders, which is pretty wild. Broncos are building an O-line. Gravedigger, uh, Javon Hargro is going over to uh, the 49ers. So they got even more stacked, which is insane to think about. Just in case you want to know what the AK contained, right? 190 overall AK player plus an 85 plus overall elite player and 170 plus gold. So they increase the odds. You can pull 90s out of these things now and they're 55K. They were always 55K. So surprisingly, they didn't increase them. I thought they'd be like 60 plus, but I've pulled like three of them offline and they're all 90s. So they weren't weren't really that good at all so we're gonna get two aka players in it come on now Ooh, we get a 90 and an 89 we'll take that apparently this pack has been going crazy for a lot of people a lot of people have been liking this pack a lot but i just don't like them at all i hate aka packs so much 90 saquon barkley i know 90s are going for about 22k right now so 20k after it 
85 B Dogs, cool. And we get another 84 Michael Vick. I am personally keeping all of my uh, 90 overalls because I'm building Team Infinity players. I'll be building a bunch of 93 and some 95s, hopefully, if they have value and if we can get some uh, ADE sixes for a decent price. Another 90, this could be an A6. Come on now. Perfect. I wanted an A6 so I could put it into a freaking set. Watch your profanity. Uh, good news is that uh, people that got banned, their accounts are slowly becoming unbanned. And two, they are also starting to reverse the coins as well, too. So people are getting their coins back. So we're getting 85 Ocho Cinco. This is going to be our 90 plus. 90 Shaq Leonard. So if you did get banned, you should hopefully start seeing an unbanned coming through. Your coins are slowly starting to come back. So it's surprisingly they are doing it without having anyone to tell them or making any type of announcement for it. They're just doing it, which is a dub. We love to see that. It is a very rare where EA is on top of things where we don't have to continuously ask him to do stuff. They just kind of do it themselves. 89. Come on, dude. Give me something higher than a 90. Another 90, bro. What the f I hate this pack, man. It is so awful. 86, 76, another 90 Shaq Leonard. I don't I don't like this pack. I've never had liked this pack. Even with boosted odds, these things suck. If you're going to rip packs right now, man, Pro Stars are the way to go. But honestly, I would just like not even rip anything. I would honestly buy training because the market's pretty cheap. It's below two again. So it's a good time to get training. It's a good time to rip TVPs. Try to make some coins. We do have two LTDs in packs still. We're having people pull Fred Warner out of uh, TVP. So I guess that is still, there we go. 95 showcase. We'll take that. Those go for about 200K right now. The 98s are dumb expensive. Ooh, another one. Come on. 89 sweetness. We'll take that. We have Legatron and Fred Warner are both in pack. So will I be live on stream tonight? Probably. I would assume I'd probably be live on there. So we're going to get another 90 Saquon and a 79. We'll do a couple more. I'll bring it down to 19 mil and then we'll rip this training. We'll rip some of it. I don't know if I'm going to do all of it, but I mean, for it being like 25K or however expensive it is, it will go pretty quick. Just getting a bunch of 90s is truly not worth it. It's one of those you're going to have to definitely sell individually. But today, definitely buy training because the market is a little bit lower when it comes to that. I wouldn't even rip packs, man. I would just rip in TVPs and, and wait to see what we're going to be getting for the new promos that are coming this week, especially free agencies to drop the market a little bit more. 85 and another 90. Uh, another 90 team of the week. Marcus Jones. Cool. Some other free agencies. Well, what else happened? There's been so much today. And it's only just the start of it, right? Um, Orlando Brown's probably going to be released by the Chiefs. Ooh, 93 Earl Campbell. There we go. Make this a good pack for me. Come on. Oh my gosh. We'll take a 93 though. It's probably about 50, 60K right now. So we made profit in this. I'm probably down a couple hundred thousand. 85, 90 and another 72. Cool. Do it two more times. Free agency man's alive and well. And it, it is a crazy time right now. 81, 90 Casey Hayward, team of the week. 85 Isaiah Pacheco. Dude, this pack is just a bare minimum of booty. Gee. Come on. A little walk off before we go rip some training, shall we? 85, Leonard Dickerson. Another Saquon Barkley. Ooh, 290 Reggie Whites and an 85. We'll do one more. One more since we we got two 90s. We'll see if we'll rip all the training or unless we want to just do a mill into it. Get this AK to 93 JPP. We'll take that. 86. Are they starting to warm up now? One more. One more. One more. Uh, 90. 85. Yannick. Yep. That's it. Let's go up some uh, some of these training ones, shall we? These are how much now? 25K. We'll bring it down to maybe a mill. We'll see how these are doing. Again, I'm going to keep all of these. I'm not going to quick sell any of them because quick selling this, you're losing 15,000 per. It's pretty much your quick selling a 91. So anytime you pull a 90, you're losing what 40,000 coins. I don't know when we allowed this to happen to get this high, right? TBPs are high. This is probably what TBPs are going to be going to. I think they're going to peak at 25K. We'll see though. Another nine. Hmm. Hey, three honey badger. We'll take that back to back. No, another 90. I bet you that's going to be our only 93 we get. You would think you would just be pulling heat out of these things, like a bunch of 96 pluses to 20. I, I just can't get over the fact it's 25K. I don't know why. That's how, what is that? And, and that's a 93, right? Pretty much between, no, it's a 92. I think 92s are about 22K. So each one of these rolls right now is DK a pop because 92s go for 50K. So each, it, this is like pretty much an AK pack, 94. Okay, we'll take that. Uh, opening one of these is pretty much opening like an AK pack, honestly. So if you're going to do that, I probably would do the AK packs because at least you get two more cards on top of this. There we go, baby. There we go. Matty Ice. All right, all right, all right. I'm not going to get too crazy. I'm not going to get too crazy, but we'll take a 96. I, I need a redemption right now. I need to pull Saquon. I need to pull something. I want to pull one of the 98s, man. You pull a 98, you're sitting big. Cause those are going for a milli right now. Can we pull like one more? I think we'll bring it down to 700K. Unless we start popping off, it's where you get 93. That's a pop off. But I think it'd probably be pretty beneficial to honestly make a bunch of these sets, especially the team builders. So I'll probably snipe a bunch of 85s and 86s, depending on how much they go for. Or how much is, I think it's 86, 87. That's where you're going to get your coins back, honestly. There we go. 94 Patrick Sertain. We'll take that. Uh, market is down for 94s. They're less than two right now, or they're getting pretty close. So right now, I think I've pulled what, two 94s and 96 and a couple 93s? I mean, we're not doing terrible. I mean, the 90s are pretty much 20K a pop. It's just sketchy for them to be this expensive. 
is we're gonna get another 90. And in case Hayward again, man, I'm just looking on uh, Twitter right now, see any other big trades or free agencies that are happening. I know Texans are making some moves, which that means that's really nothing. But Tunsil is uh, being up for trade. Orlando Brown's going up for trade. There's a lot going on right now. And then Aaron Rodgers for sure. It looks like it's not 100%, but it looks like Aaron Rodgers is gonna be going to the Jets, which is pretty much walking in the footsteps of Brett Favre because <laughs> he played in the because he, he played in Green Bay and then he's going over the Jets, which I'm fine with because I you know how i feel about that dude come on come on another 90 dude so we're about 700k in i think i'm gonna bring it down i think i'm only gonna do a million of these things they're just a bunch of 90s it, it's not good i i, I don't like AK packs i don't like ak rerolls whatsoever at all i don't think they're good they've never been good for me personally because everyone tells me that these are the best packs ever and pff, dude i don't know what you guys are pulling as we're gonna get 93 we'll take that uh but the biggest thing right now you know the the 49ers defense is stacked they got fred warner nick bosa now they got grave digger and i mean they were really struggling 95 saquon hold the fuck on dude the 49ers are looking good they got nick bosa they got all those you know it's stacked on the defense it's like you couldn't get any more stacked on the defense Defense, personally unless you got a corner if they got ramsey for example so as long as they have a healthy offense cmc stays healthy purdy is probably going to be their starters right 93 as long as they have a healthy offensive part then i think they're going to be okay they should ideally win a super bowl with this uh, the squad but we thought that last year but then brock purdy did get hurt so that kind of fell apart but i'm excited to see what this team does man i'm excited to see what the bears do if there's any more uh, tj edwards is a massive sign especially we got him for a, a, a cheap guaranteed i think we only got him like 11 mil guaranteed but they're trying to build around fields. Hopefully, they get them a line, honestly. Um, let's do two more, and I think we'll do that. We'll do a mill into those. We pulled 196, a couple 93, 94s. They seem about the same. We got the two 95s, too, Saquon and the other one. Uh, maybe I might be able to build Saquon at this point. Just depends how much he goes for, if it's 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 worth it, personally. Last one of the bunch, man. I don't like them. Maybe you have better luck than I do. Walk off. 90 overall, man. If you like the video, make sure you like the video. Do not forget to sub on the way out. Stay safe, guys. Tell your mom, tell your daddy. Catch you guys on the next video. Ah!